Solving something like this means that we want to know the value of x, which makes it true. You'll notice I have x in two places, so one of the first things I want to do is get it um, together by simplifying. To this end, a nice first step is to distribute the 3 to the x and the 7. The distributive property tells us that if we have it outside the parentheses, it can get multiplied by both things inside the parentheses. 3 times 7 is 21. I now have 2x plus 3x plus 21 equals 11. Next, uh, I want to get my x's together by combining like terms. I have a 2x, later I have 3 more, so in total I have 5x's, and that leaves me with 5x plus 21 equals 11. Now I have a two-step equation. To get the x by itself, I want to undo what's done to the x. I'm going to undo the addition of 21 by subtracting 21. If I do it on one side, I need to do it on both, which leaves me with 5 times x equals negative 10. And finally, to find out what x itself is, I can undo, I can undo the multiplication by 5 by dividing by 5. And that's just going to leave me with x equals negative 10 over 5, which is negative 2. So I propose that negative 2 is my solution. Finally, I can check that this works by taking my proposed solution, x equals negative 2, and plugging it back into the original equation. And when I do so, 2 times 2, uh, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Inside my parentheses, negative 2 plus 7 is, is equal to 5. So this is like 3 times 5, which is positive 15. Negative 4 plus 15, it's like 15 minus 4. And yes, that is equal to 11. So I have showed that my proposed solution, x equals negative 2, is correct. Uh, so remember, I distributed first, distributed the 3, combined like terms to simplify. I solved it as a two-step equation, subtracting 21, then dividing by 5. And I arrived at my solution, x equals negative 2. Thank you.